This is a prototype of an augmented reality circuit building guide and I'm going to demonstrate on this simple 555 based LED blinking circuit. Let me unplug it for now. One thing you can do after the circuit is made is overlay part information. So here I can see that's a 555 reference U1 510K R3 uh, and you can kind of tell the polarity on the capacitor and the uh, LED too if you look carefully. As long as I keep this target in the camera, all the overlays will track in real time. So the way this works is that the program is able to look at features on the picture and based on the size of those features and how they're skewed relative to each other, it's able to tell both the distance and the angle that the camera is away from the picture. So here on the screen, I've got a representation of the camera, and you can see it moving closer and farther away to my model, and also rotating as I rotate the tracker image. I can also overlay um, net information. So here, according to this key down here, everything red is V+, everything green is ground, so now I, I know immediately that these two rows are both V+. Plus. Uh, everything obviously on the sides is V plus and ground. And then I've got all my other nets labeled here too. So it's really easy for me to spot check with a multimeter and make sure voltages are right and make sure they match what they should be. Another thing I can do with this part overlay information is get some more information by touching the part on the screen. So let's do this U1. I've got a 3D view that I can rotate around and zoom in and out on. And then also some relevant part information like the pinout reference and some choice specs like max voltage and the current max output current. Let's do uh, R3 too. Another way to check the circuit after it's done is to overlay 3D parts on top of everything. So here I've got wires and three dimensional components all sitting on the board. I'm going to move this LED one spot away from where it should be. So now you can see it's pretty obvious that something's in the wrong spot. This is also a good way to preview the circuit before you start building anything. Here I have a blank circuit board and I'm covering up the tracker and I'm going to get a preview of the full circuit without any real components on there. And then I'm going to go to step one here, which is to install this U1 IC, the 555 chip. So the yellow lines here show where the corner pins should go. The two dotted lines go right through the corner pin holes. And again, we've got the information about the part displayed over here, so I know what I'm putting in. Then I can make sure it's right by looking straight down on it. Okay, next. Let's do this resistor. So over here I see it's a 1K. Put that guy in there and then check it. And then this next step is a wire.
So I can see it's coming in at the 6 pin of the IC. And that looks good. This prototype is made by a company called Equip Codes, and they make augmented reality guides for larger industrial equipment also. Here's a few clips from some of their video demos. You can find out more information about this app at equipcodes.com ar.